freestyle kicking technique is very similar to a football kick. Your leg performs almost the same movement as in football. This is why the simplest tip for us in swimming is to imagine that we are kicking a ball. First, we move our straight leg back to prepare for a kick and then kick. In swimming, we do exactly the same movements. We move the leg up to the surface and then kick downwards. Make sure that you move your entire leg from pelvis to your toes. Such a movement will give you the maximum power with each kick. You can imagine how weak a kick would be if you did it only with your lower leg. In football, such a kick will not be as powerful as the correct one. Practice correct kicking technique on land and try to memorize how it feels. In swimming, kicks are much smaller than in football. It should be only in your body's streamline. If you do larger kicks, they will slow you down. Make sure that your knees don't bend too much as this creates water resistance and decreases the power of your kicks. Remember to perform each kick as a football kick. Move your straight leg backwards, kick with the entire leg and bend your knee a little. This is the most powerful part in freestyle swimming that will give you the most of your speed. Now I will explain the basics of freestyle arm stroke. After that, you will be a cool freestyle swimmer. You will be able to swim confidently and smoothly. Also, this will improve your arm muscles and allow you to develop your fitness. In the beginning, it is important to get your arm ready for the arm stroke. Your arm should be almost straight and stretch forwards. Fingers close to each other. Then get your elbow facing upwards. Most probably your wrist will turn to the side. Make sure to move your wrist back into a neutral position to get your arm in perfect position. Remember, this is the correct position of your arm for the arm strokes. Only this position will allow you to perform useful arm strokes. The idea of the arm stroke is to catch the water and push yourself forward. Here is an example comparing correct and incorrect arm strokes. Imagine you are running. The wrong arm stroke is comparable to you having bad traction, making your feet slip, so you are unable to push yourself from the ground. The correct arm stroke is comparable to having good traction, enabling you to push yourself off the ground very efficiently. In swimming, it works the same way. When you start the arm soak in the wrong position, your arm will not catch the water and you cannot perform it correctly. Correct arm strokes allow you to catch the water. This allows you to push yourself forwards very efficiently and gain a lot of speed. From our most popular video, you have seen one of the best drills for improving freestyle technique, the chair exercise. This will help you to practice the correct arm stroke technique. You will also be able to check for yourself whether your arm stroke technique is correct or wrong. Are you working hard to be healthy, to look good and to swim correctly? You probably lack a real swimming knowledge and a good coach. Some people feel ashamed in the pool, don't know what to do and feel worse than others. I totally understand how it feels to be unsatisfied with yourself. The problem here is not in you, but that you don't have a helpful advisor. Luckily, I know how to help you. Here is a plan for you. Download our Swim Up app. Answer a couple of questions so that we can create a personalized and efficient training plan for you. Test your workouts for free. When you are confident that this is a great app for you, purchase Premium. Enjoy swimming for life. I guarantee the quality of our app. If you buy Premium subscription, 
you can cancel it anytime. So download the app right now to see what kind of workouts are the most suitable for you. If you continue training your old way, your training stays inefficient and boring. I believe you deserve to improve your swimming and to be satisfied with yourself. Arm recovery is what makes your swimming easy and relaxed. Make sure to use your shoulder for arm recovery. So to rotate your shoulder when you recover your arm after the arm stroke. Many swimmers don't use their shoulders and perform arm recovery very low. This way is wrong and very difficult. They move their arm forwards, but don't rotate their shoulders. This is a large mistake that makes swimming feel heavy. When you finish the arm stroke, you need to raise your arm from the water. Lift your shoulder and rotate it. Imagine that you are drawing a half circle with your shoulder or hand in the air. The entire arm recovery movement is performed only by your shoulder. You can recover your arms in two ways with almost straight arms and with high elbows in the air. Arm recovery with almost straight arms is much more simple to master. For beginners and triathlon athletes, I recommend swimming with almost straight arms. This will guarantee that your arms are relaxed in the air, so it will be much easier to swim longer distances. Swimming feels easy when your body is in the correct position. If you do extra movements, this will disturb your swimming and make it harder. The correct body position helps you not only make your swimming easier, but also improve your posture, abs and core muscles. Therefore, you need to learn how to keep your entire body in a horizontal position, so that it doesn't slow you down. This is crucial for every beginner swimmer. It is important in the beginning to check that your face is fully in the water while swimming freestyle. Your eyes should be directed down and forward. Try not to lift your head from the water while swimming. If you do so, you will make your legs sink, which will slow you down. Your body will work as a scale. When one part goes up, another part goes down. So never ever let your body leave the horizontal position. Always keep your head in the water and legs near the water surface. When you swim, always try to stretch your body forward as much as possible. The longer you are stretched out, the easier it is for you to swim. Check out the difference between correct and incorrect gliding position. If you learn to keep your body in the correct position, your swimming will be really enjoyable and easy. If you don't learn it, you will struggle while swimming. Remember to keep your head in the water, your legs and pelvis near the water surface, and to stretch your body forwards as much as possible. This is an important skill to make your swimming easier and smoother. Make sure to exhale only when your face is submerged in the water. Exhaling out of the water will prevent you from inhaling properly and fully and will make your swimming much harder. So make sure you can exhale through your nose or mouth while swimming. After exhaling, you need to inhale quickly. In swimming, there is always limited time for breathing, so you need to inhale exactly at the correct moment. In freestyle, this is the moment when you turn your head to the side. In breaststroke and butterfly, it is when you lift your upper body out of the water. At this moment, you need to inhale quickly and deeply, without any pauses, to continue smooth swimming. There is no better moment to take a breath. If you don't exhale in the correct time, you will break your swimming rhythm 
and miss the most suitable moment for inhaling. This will ruin your swimming technique. So, make sure to exhale in the water. Turn your head and immediately inhale. This will greatly improve your confidence in the water, and swimming will become much easier.